What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now, we have got a good video today filled with news, even um, a very exciting rumor, which I actually hope turns out to not be a rumor, um, about XRP getting relisted on Coinbase. But let's start off with Bitcoin 33,000. Didn't really do anything over the weekend. Um, Ethereum, though, has been holding 2,000. I haven't seen Ethereum dip below uh, 2,000. That's a huge level right there at 2,000. So, I mean, shit, $2,100 Ethereum is a very good accumulation point still. Um, some people still believe it'll go to 10,000 this year, and I am actually one of them. I do think Ethereum will hit 10,000 this year. Um, XRP, 63 cents right there. I mean, the market's pretty boring right now. We are doing the exact thing, just bouncing 1.3 to 1.4. That's it. Now, Revein is the top gainer in synthetics. I'm a fan of synthetics. I'm not a fan of Revein. Somebody made me check out Revein on the stream, on TikTok stream. Not really a fan of Revein. But let's get to the biggest news or some of the biggest news. This grayscale $550 million GBTC unlock. So basically, there's some GBTC that's about to get unlocked. And um, yeah, so so they can either sell it, they can choose to liquidate, or they can choose to... Um, hold on, where is it? Once unlocked, investors have the option to liquidate or hold on. And they are saying that it will have no significant impact on Bitcoin. But this is 16,240 Bitcoin, which were locked they're now being unlocked and available to investors. So we will see what happens with that. That's July 18. There has been so many dates set in July. We've already got three that I can name off right now. The GBTC unlock, Grayscale Bitcoin unlock, July 18. You got Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey talk on July 21. And you have um, July 28, which was the date for Elizabeth Warren. She said... She set that as a deadline for crypto regulations. Now, look at this. Speaking of July 28, somebody has found that on this article on investing.com, basically, they're talking about whales transferring $38 million worth of XRP. But look at this. Right here, it says, by July 28, XRP trading on Coinbase and other exchanges would resume. Now, this is just one article, so I need to preface this and say this is like pure speculation and a complete rumor. A complete rumor. But, I mean, it does line up with the date that Elizabeth Warren gave, so maybe a settlement soon on lawsuit and then a relist? I don't know. I don't know. I hate the XRP community for putting these dates on everything, but this isn't even the XRP community. This is investing.com. And um, somebody in my Discord, Altmom, she looked into who wrote this, and it's and the person who wrote it loves XRP. So literally, they have biased writers um, on CoinCora. So who knows? But that's the that's some news I woke up to see today. I mean, I want that. Hell yeah, that would that would be perfect timing. Perfect timing, because you've got. Flare that's supposed to launch this today. We're going to talk about, or not today. We're going to talk about that today, but Flare is supposed to launch in July. So moving on, the Bank of Ghana aims to bolster economy with CBDC pilot. Bank of Ghana is putting out a CBDC pilot starting in September. So tons of CBDC pilots coming. Damn, look at that. We got a Twitch follower and we're not even streaming, folks. Big Big J Money 007. Let's go. Um, you see, you guys see that Phoenix, that Phoenix um, notification though. Okay, so they're launching a CBDC pilot. We know where this is headed. I think CBDCs will be used and will be the thing. I don't see any other option. It's not going to be stable coins. This is the central banks want their power. 
We saw that with the clip from the Bank of International Settlements guy. He says, we want to be able to see everything you're doing. No cash. Look at this. Some Pundi X news is finally making it into one of my videos. As you guys know, I still hold Pundi X. I do. Um, but I did sell a bunch of it and conveniently just at perfect timing. And I made a bunch of profit, but I'm still holding some. Turkish entrepreneur rolls out a physical Pundi X crypto exchange. This is a physical Pundi X crypto exchange right here. That is really cool to see. They also have this one. Um, so this is insane. As you guys know, Pundi X, I have an entire video. Just type in Crypto Mason Pundi X and I have an entire video covering why I think this is a, a gem right here. Now we've got this absolute idiot named Scott Minard from Guggenheim saying that Bitcoin can go as low as 10,000. But guess what? Just in December 16, 2020, he said that it could be 40, 400,000. So what's really good, buddy? He's saying, he's saying 10K and now, or he said 400K, now he's saying 10K. But I mean, I agree. Like, I literally agree. I want Bitcoin. I want Bitcoin to go down and everything else to go up. Like, can we just have that? Can we have the phased out moment right now? <laughs> like, so we don't have to wait. I'm cool. Like Bitcoin go down and um, XRP go up. That's what I that's what I want to see. And also, I'm, I'm going to put this before all the other news. Rochelle Renee right here. Look what she says. Just remember for XRP to pass Bitcoin in market cap, two things have to happen. Number one, Bitcoin must freeze its price or drop. And two, XRP simply needs to increase in value to just $13.62 as of this tweet. Of course, if Bitcoin drops, the target number for XRP is lower. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't it seem like Bitcoin has frozen its price? Just bouncing 30 to 40? So what if Bitcoin does drop to 20K as all these people are predicting? What if it does drop to 20K, 25K? But then something happens with XRP that's extremely bullish and we see the flippening happen. But we see the flippening happen with um, XRP and Bitcoin, not Ethereum and Bitcoin, which I would also love to happen. But look at that. I mean, this is what we need. We need insane stuff to happen to prove to us that even more insane stuff can happen. Um, yeah, look at that. Insane. So Jeremy Hogan right here, we know him very well in the XRP community. He's saying that there's a chance of the SEC going after Cardano, Doge, Dot, and Uni. And this is because they held ICOs. They held ICOs and the general thought at the SEC is that almost all ICOs are sales of securities. Guess who didn't do an ICO? xrp folks but they're the ones being sued cardano did and uh, did an ico right um so he's saying hogan dismissed the notion that the sec would go after dogecoin noting that the meme coin was released via mining and didn't undergo an ico or token sale okay um so yeah definitely after we're done after they're done with xrp they're going after more shit Many people think it'll be Ethereum. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it'll be Ethereum or not. We're going to have to see. Last thing right here for news pieces. China gives out $40 million of digital yuan in red envelopes to boost adoption. So they're paying you to use the slave system. Eventually, they're not going to have to pay you to use the slave system. But that's what they're doing. They're doing some red envelope project. I mean, <laughs> they really got to pay people to use this thing. Last thing, XRP Shark. He's tweeting at the CEO of Flare and Flare saying, could the XRP community get an update on the launch of Flare, please? Will it happen like the, will it happen this month like it is anticipated due to the tweet from a few months ago where you stated that the launch will occur end of June plus or minus four weeks okay 
So we're coming down on plus or minus four weeks, right? We're about almost two weeks into July right now. So what's what's happening? Like, personally, I don't think Flare's going to launch in July. I think they're going to keep pushing it or something. I can't see it happening for some reason. But I would love to be proven wrong on that statement right there. Um, yeah, so it would be a perfect storm. The hype from Flare. I mean, some people, Alex Cobb was saying Flare's going to spawn in like up here. Like it's going to really spawn in like 10th type shit. And it'll probably be an internet computer situation. Where is internet computer? It's 22nd. That thing was 4th. So maybe Flare spawns in like 10th and then drops to like 30th. I don't know because there will be a big crash. Um, there will be a big crash, but that is all we got for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you go to my other platforms because you know what's happening. TikTok is deplatforming, uh, censoring all crypto content. I'm still banned until 2 p.m. today from posting for no reason. They don't give me a list of shit I can't say. They keep it vague so that they can do whatever they want. If you keep the rules vague, then when somebody just does something you don't like, you can just say, oh, yeah, that was under the rules. It's bullshit. But thank you all for watching. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. And goodbye. Crow, still can't